What's up, everyone? Today is hump day. Getting ready to read some messages. Um, some messages from heaven. Louie's going to come join us. Louie, you got to come back here, dude. Lay down right there. Good boy. Good boy. Now Bella's coming too. They think I'm going to bed. Bella. Miss Bella. Over here, Bella. Anyways, happy hump day. Hope you guys just had recently had a very Merry Christmas and you're getting ready for the new year. Um, Bella, you got an itch? You need to take a hike, baby girl. Come on. Come on. They were all out there. Everybody was out there, so I had to come in my bedroom to read cards. Um, now they're all in here. All right. Well, that's okay. I'm going to read, I have one special card that I'm going to read, and um, it's for Sandra. Sandra, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that so much. And then I'm going to read some group cards. I'm going to read Sandra's card first. Then I'm going to read some group cards for, um, for everyone, you know, for the new year, getting ready for the new year. If anyone would like their own special card, any donation of $5 or more sent to my PayPal or my Cash App, which is in the link of the video, um, the following week or the week after, you will get a, a reading. I am going to cut back on, I was going to cut back on um, on the days of doing the special card, re or of doing the hump day readings, but I, I think at least for January, I'm going to try to read it. I'm just going to read less cards. Um, instead of reading six cards, I think I usually read six cards. I'm only going to read three group cards and then the special cards. And possibly I would throw some patrons in there. Um, tonight, I'm just going to read um, a, few, a few group cards and um, the special card reading for Sandra. Thank you. And um, let's get started with Sandra's card. And we got these animals all over the place. <laughs> all right, Sandra. Think of which loved one you want to hear from. Try and get comfortable, Lou. Try and get comfortable. All right, here we go, Sandra. Your card says, take control of the situation. We know you can do this. All right. It says, take control of the situation. We know you can do this. Stay strong. Stay strong inside. You have everything you need to make it happen. The skills are already yours. Your loved ones are saying, stand your ground. You can handle this. We are here to help you. Wow, and Bella's trying to help too. Go, Bella, take a hike, young woman. Take a hike. All right, Sandra, that was your card. Thank you so much for the donation. I'm going to throw that card back in there. All right, so the next card is going to be a group card for each and every one of you guys. Try to think of all of you.
All right. So the group cards, I'm just going to flip them. I'm going to do, I'll do four. I'll do one for the new year too. So we're just going to flip them. One, two, three, and four. These are group cards for each and every one of you guys. And the first one I pulled, it says, we are proud of you and aware of your achievements. It says, even though your loved ones are no longer in the physical bodies, don't think for one minute that they no longer care about you. They do. They love to pop in during important times in your life. Like birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, and the introduction of a new family member. They are also aware of days when you achieve your goals and are proud of you in the same way they would have been had they still been on this side of life. They say, we love you still. Be part of, we love to still be part of your life. Congratulations, we applaud your special day. So somebody's got a special day and a loved one's coming through to, um, to let them know that they're here. Now the second card, it says, give yourself time, be kind to yourself and heal in your own way. Heal in your own way. It says sometimes it can take a long time to heal from within. Life may never again be quite the same as it once was. In time, you will find a new normal. Be brave and carry on living. Life is so precious and many people love you and care about you. Your loved ones remind you also, we love you. We're still here for you in so many ways. Oh, wow. That was the second group card. And the third group card, it says, take time to pamper yourself or let others take care of you. That's, this is a good one. I seem, seem to get this card all the time. All right. It says, go on, spoil yourself. You deserve it. It is all very well helping others, but balance comes when you treat yourself with the same kindness. Do something lovely for yourself. It's your turn. Your loved ones say indulge in a luxury treatment or find a way of pampering yourself. Give your body care it craves. Somebody needs to be pampered. We all need to be pampered, you know. Um, I used to go get my nails done all the time and get my toes done. It's just, you know, and that's all fun and, and you know, makes you look pretty and stuff. But, um... I got medical bills, so right now, that is not important to me. Although, I did get some press-on nails, some, like, little sticky nails. I don't know how, I, well, they're down there, but I got some little sticky nails, the kind you just, like, some of them, I think, take glue, and some of them don't. You just press them on um, for Christmas. I got them as a Christmas present. So, I will be doing those. Maybe I'll make a video when I put them on or show them to you, or I'm not sure. But, um... You know, there there are things that you can pamper yourself without spending money. Um, you know, you can just do a makeover on your face. You, we all have makeup. So just get into your makeup. I have so much makeup, I need to get rid of half of this makeup. Because I don't use half of it. But there are times that when I just want to be silly or goofy or just make up my face crazy or, or make it up, you know, overdo it like I don't normally overdo it. I usually just go eyebrow pencil, eye, eyeliner. Um, eyeshadow and lipstick and then of course my my face serum and um, my face creams but other than that I don't I don't use all that makeup that I used to use <laughs> but um so there's multiple ways you could take a bubble bath just soak in the bubble bath or you could go for a walk and just think you know go out in the backyard and just sit back and relax and and just I don't know, watch the birds. Right now there probably isn't any birds because it's too damn cold. Um, it got down to freezing in Florida. Half my plants are dead, guys. It's awful. Um, I went out and uncovered some today just to see what they look like. They're, they're just dead. It's, it's sad. It really is. Hopefully they come back. 
Um, I might have to go out and cover some more up because it's down like in the 30s again. Um, but take the time to pamper yourself, no matter who you are. Take, take some time to do something good for yourself. All right. And then the last card, it says, spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. Spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. And it says, don't hold back. You are capable of so much. Reach your full potential and know your loved ones will be delighted at your achievements. Go for your goals. We too are excited by your success. Oh, wow. So those were four amazing group cards um, for each and every one of you guys. Uh, I do want to read um, a Talk Into Heaven. I have Talk Into Heaven now. My sister Shirley got them for me. And um, I, will, I, I will bring them out another time. But I do want to, tonight, I do want to read Shirley a Talk Into Heaven card. Um, she's not feeling good. And, um, you know, she told me not even to come over for Christmas. She told me to wait till after Christmas because she has not been feeling good. So please continue to pray for her. Pray that she's going to be okay. Uh, all right, Shirley. I'm going to read you a Talking to Heaven card. I do want to pull these cards out sometime and, and read them. I'm going to shorten these videos so that they don't take as long. Um, they don't really get the views um, that I expected them to get. I expected them to at least get a thousand views and they don't. They're not getting a thousand views. So I was going to cut them out all together. I'm going to see how January goes with these videos. I may have to cut them down. Um, I put a lot of work, like the ones over the holo over Christmas. I put a lot of work and a lot of time decorating my scene behind me and everything. And, you know, it took me 30, 35 minutes just to get everything organized out the, out in the back by the table with the Christmas stuff. And, and, um, and then making the video, you know, was another 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes. Then I had to edit the video and post the video. And then it only got like 400 and something views. I was so sad. Um, the views are, were way down. So these might not be everybody's cup of tea. I might just do. I might just start doing my Patreon. Start. I was thinking about. Um, and this is not set in stone. But I was thinking about all my members and all my patrons getting them all in a bowl or in a ziploc baggie, getting their names in there, and start drawing names. Um, from the patrons and the members and then maybe draw three to five names each each week and read them but this is not set in stone if that's something that you think would be a good idea let me know um, and of course any donations I will definitely read anyone who sends a donation of five dollars or more um, but I think that that's what I want to do with the patrons and the members I think it would be a good thing and then I could just draw the name out of the um, out of the bag or something, and just leave the names in the bag. All right, Shirley, I've been praying for you, sister. I love you so much. I hope that you're gonna be okay. I got um, I got your Christmas present, and I think you're really gonna like it. And um, get ready, sister, because in January we're dyeing our hair pink. So you guys get ready. I have pink hair dye, Shirley wasn't going to do it and then she says i'm doing it so we're both going to dye our hair pink for january maybe we'll do it like i don't know we'll see i don't hopefully we can do it soon sooner than later but shirley's birthday is january 18th i don't know if she wants to have um a purple or pink hair <laughs> maybe she don't care all right all right shirley think of your loved one you want to hear from I hope Mama sends you a message. I always want to hear from Mama. <laughs> always. I just want Mama to send me a message. All right, here we go. Oh, it says, I'm not dead. I'm not dead.
All right, this is what it says, Shirley. It says, I'm not dead. Only my physical body is gone. And now, and now know that our bodies are just a small part of who we really are. I am aware that you miss my voice and physical presence, but my soul and spirit are very much alive. The time when you felt my energy, I really was there next to you, as I am now. We each have a unique energy fingerprint, and you recognize mine. Let me see that again. We each have a unique energy fingerprint, and you recognize mine when I'm with you. Trust that feeling. I'm actually more alive now than ever before. Gone are all the distractions and stressors that I allowed to rob me of the enjoyment in my life. Now I see how trivial everything was and that all that ever mattered were the important priorities of love, family, friendship, caring, and helping. But I've also discovered how to turn my regrets into learning and growing. I ask you to do the same. I now see that I never had anything to fear. There is no death and nothing bad can ever happen to anyone in the spiritual truth. Of course, of course it's important to be smart and careful and always follow your, your guidance. But please don't forsake joy because of fear. Because there's truly nothing to fear. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Dang. There was a couple things in there that, like, like hit me, too. This card was for Shirley. And, um, she can let us know who she, who she thinks it was from. But, um... There was something I read that just kind of hit, hit me, too. So if this card seems like, oh, it's for you, it's possible that your loved one is making you hear this right now. So, um, I'm not dead. Our loved ones are not dead. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that card, Shirley. I hope that you're feeling better and I get to come see you soon. Um, I hope all of you guys have a wonderful, wonderful New Year. And, um... Stay safe and do something nice for someone. Alright, I love you and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.